Welcome back to Banner Saga 3, where we just had a not screwed over fight, where we actually did really great. And we got the beret item, which we'll see if it's worth having one use. The warped monsters beyond the light are becoming increasingly aggressive. Despite the victory, the writing is on the wall. We bought some time, Zephyr says. But this is not sustainable. We're going to have to fall back before long. He bought one day. Less than a day, actually. At least on our meter. Well, technically it goes one, and then it goes zero. So they'll get up here. <laughs> Distant rumble approaches, and all the things that could be race through your mind. Someone shouts, Earthquake! as the ground bucks beneath your feet. Violent shaking peels rock sheets off the nearby cliffs. They crash around you in great billowing clouds of dust. Is everyone all right? you shout in the aftermath. No, I recognize you from somewhere, the Valgard shouts. He's swinging at Oli with clenched fists. This bastard tried to push me into the falling rocks. As the confusion and the dust clear, frustrated ravens are letting off steam with chance of fight. What is this about? Let them resolve this themselves? I don't care what's going here, but this stops. What is this about? O Oli murdered a warlord in Strand back when I was guard captain. I never got a chance to thank him for all the good friends who were killed as a result. Liar! He retorts, I've never even been to Strand. You're both lying, Juno interjects in a dark mood. Oli traveled to Strand where he did ignite the war, but no one was pushed toward falling rocks, and if you both wish to keep your history in the past, both men pale from Juno's icy words, realizing they can keep no secrets. That earthquake was no coincidence, Ivan says, changing the subject. Same as when the serpent carved chasms through the earth above, be on your guard. Well, we got to the bottom of that quick. So, yeah, we'll not even really get to the top of this hill before time runs out. So those cliffs were homes for the dredge. Yes, as before, why do you ask? Now, the next level. Just the keep. Armies have crashed against the steep black cliffs of Aberang before, as the warp do now. You retreated again, and it was costly. Thousands more dead, but necessary. Banshee whales went on long into the encroaching night, but the black rock wall has never been breached, the menders tell you. Even with so many slaughtered, space is scarce. Leo nods when you tell him you're going to get some air, outside the crowded gathering halls. Survivors camp in different clusters atop the Black Rock. You wonder how many families sewn upon your banner are just memories now. Then you note how strange the silence sounds. The clans have lost their taste for troublemaking, and even the Warped have withdrawn. Maybe you're safe up here. Maybe the Menders are right. The stairs. That's just a fight waiting to happen. Uh, we could look at the market, see if it's refreshed any. Oh, you can buy a all, plus three to all talents. That's pretty good. Never deflected. Plus 50 crit chance. Plus 2 to all talents. What does he currently have? Plus 3 to break talents. Plus 2 to break an armor. Plus 2 talents. Never deflected. 50% crit and plus 2 to all talent. Mmm. Mmm. Move through allies. Oh. But plus 2 aggro. I think Luden is getting... Uh, oh, he can't... Oh. Luden, we're promoting you. Purely so we can give you the cap. Puncture chance. That's not the top tip. Give him a dodge. That's good. That's good. Avoid killing blow. 
right? I could just promote him again if I wanted. But Luden, you get the commando hat. Huzzah. And now that leaves Luden's bag open. Plus three to the break talents, plus two to break. Armor, strength resist. Uh, divert armor. Dodge. Strength, one strength resist and one armor. Break. Plus three to break. Who's, who would be a great breaker? Well, he has, he's got that awesomeness. Which actually, you should jump in now that you're at 100%. Hakon is using crit chance, three to alt. Oh my gosh. Three to break talents. That's a good one. Dodge strength. Yeah, we're better off just upgrading people, I feel, at this point. Yeah, Luden, Prince Luden is becoming the hero of the story <laughs> quite quickly. Okay, he's maxed out at 15, the Spear Master. So I will give him everything that I can cool maxed oh I, I want to do it are you sure you want to purchase this heroic title death wait oh ah, I'm frustrated and get a, a cheap promotion over here. Captain of the Guards is also a big time hero. Some dodge going on. Um, let's see. Oh, a bit silly actually to not promote him. And you will not be the most powerful in the game. I'm not letting that happen. Get you to max level. Beautiful. Okay, so I guess he's going to be one shy. So that's pretty awesome. Living legend renown. So shall we now fight on the stairs, which is almost certainly going to happen. Fatigue draws you into a stupor. Feels weird to be doing nothing, Leo says, breaking the silence. Spirits are low. Maybe this would be a good chance to see how everyone's holding up. You consider it. Ah, uh, Ubin. Always a sight for sore eyes. The Scrivener is scratching diligently at his papers. He looks up. Scat Hatch halts whatever conversations he and Ubin were having. Hello, Hunter. Found yourself a little patch of quiet, and don't know what to do with yourself. Something like that. The eye of the storm, as the poets say. You start predicting the weather when you've been around long, long enough, or maybe you just talk about it more. The old Varro stops scratching notes to talk. Mm. What have you been writing in your book? Stories, mostly. But not like the menders and scalds, no. The menders write about what's in the past, and the scalds sketch fantasies about what's hap about what happened. The historical writings are mostly useless, if you ask me. Even a perfect record is only as only good as the man reading it, and most of us aren't that good. You mean we remember things the way that suits us best? You can spin a dozen different morals from the same yarn. Indeed, we're all a bunch of liars at heart. I write stories about people. When someone reveals their own hopes and fears, that's the truth of things, even if it's a lie. Understand? One of the reasons I learned to talk to people, like the horseborn. I'd like to speak with the dredge, too, one day, if they'll have me. The old Varl stops scratching notes to talk. Oh. Ever seen anything like this before in your many years? You know, I've heard mankind take being called old an insult, but I never knew why. Now let me think. Well, the fall of Skerryminstead was something to behold, half a city sinking into the Silverstone, and Grolfheim was even bigger. But something like this? No, it was not. Funny how our memories measure worth, isn't it? 
I remember my companion Gunnolf telling me I look like an eggplant better than I recall a city sinking beneath the waves. That's why I like to write these things down. Skat Hatch says something in his own tongue, and Ubin laughs. He says I don't look like an eggplant. The old Varro stops scratching notes to... T uh, I've been curious for more detail about Dalalond, the Horseborn's homeland. Why don't you ask them yourself? I'm a trader. I've traveled more than most and seen the end of the, our lands. Maybe they are endless. Men have said it is empty, but they are wrong. They only think it is empty because they move too slowly. When the sun stops, we celebrate. It's a blessing. It is warmth and freedom. But then the shattering split our land into pieces. Now each piece is small and empty. I think my kind becomes restless here. They talk a lot about the brave who tried to outrun the darkness. They have already become legend. Maybe they are still running across the Dalaland. I like to imagine this. Your city is heavy and cold, and made for men to walk slowly in circles but go nowhere. I will be glad to see the sun again. He looks a little wistful and nods his head to say he's done. The old Varro stops scratching. Okay. I'll leave you to your work then. No worries. If you want to talk, I'm glad for the company. Out of curiosity, what are you planning to do with your writings if the darkness overtakes us? Leave it for someone else to find. Ubin's smile suddenly falls from his face as he realizes it'll become warped. Would you believe I hadn't thought of that? Maybe a horseborn could... No, not without a mender. Maybe we could spare a mender to... Damnation. We'll have to live. There's no other way around it. Yes, unfortunately, we'll just have to survive. This one? Oh, the tower. Mm. We'll have a chit-chat first. Zephyr is overseeing the Menders, looking just as drained, if not more. She calls you by name. I've heard more about you since coming to Abarang. Seems like these people owe you a great deal. I didn't do it on my own. Close enough, though. I wish I had supported you better at the gates. And I also heard you traveled with a Varl named Ingvar. That seemed like quite a coincidence at first. You consider what to say. Oh. How did you discover this light spell? Not easily. Things went bad at Manahar, and I was the only one left in the aftermath. I spent days trying anything I could think of against the darkness. I nearly gave up, but what Juno and Ivan must have done, nobody thought it was possible. When you become a Valka, are you all forced to take an oath to be as vague and mysterious as possible? I'm sorry. That would be hard to believe if, not to if I told you. Try me. I believe they have pulled down and shattered the black sun that resides inside the earth. Okay, I can see your earlier po You consider what to say. Did you know Ivor? He is well known, especially amongst the dredge. They say he once slew a sunder called Rays, who carried Bellowa's child. Ruin was Rays's sister. It's my belief that Ruin probably came to Abrang hoping to find Ingvar. In the face of this darkness, the other sunder must be have scattered to the wind, but Rain wanted revenge, even if it meant killing everyone in the way. Are you saying all the people who died in the siege was because of Ivor? And I can only imagine it is why Bellower chased you all the way to Borsgard. I suppose there's no point in secrets anymore. After the Great War, the Valka tried to broker a peace with the Dredge, and mostly succeeded. But one of the conditions was that we deliver the Varl named Ingvar. They called him Destroyer. We searched, but never found him. Juno and Ivan would almost certainly have recognized him. Did they ever mention this? They never said anything. And then they just happened to take Ivor with them to the White Tower. <gasps> that is concerning. I just wish I knew their intentions. You trust your friend Ivor completely. Hmm. More than completely. Then you were right to let him go. And that itself gives me hope. You consider what's... What's your plan now? To keep this light lit as long as I can. In the early days, the Valka had nearly godlike powers. They spent generations obsessed with immortality. It has become diluted over time, of course. Did you know that the Valka raised the Black Rock Plateau we're standing on? Pulled straight out of the earth. The unnaturally dark rock is the same material dredge used to make their armor. Believe it or not, that was long before I was born. Me, I've learned a few tricks. 
But all I can do now is share the same blind hope that if we just hold out, well, maybe this will be more use to you than me. The Valkyrie retrieves an item and folds off her cloak and hands it to you. The clasp of Keen. How long do you think we have left? Not long now. Make the most of your time. You consider what this is. I'll let you focus, actually, on that one. I only wish I could have done more. I'm gonna have to check that item out. I'm sure it's a high level one. Ah, clasps of keen. Three to all talents. But she has the range extender, which is just too good. Strike, strength, that's will armor per turn, one will per turn, plus the break. Oh, it's a healer as well. Hmm. And he's using the armor strength resist. Why don't you take that, buddy? Why don't you take that? Oh, and then we have enough for... I could make him a master level if I wanted, but I'm going to hold out to upgrade Harkon. Hakon. We have a little dream team here. What shall happen in the tower? That's all I have to click. The warped have not been able to scale the black wall since coming here a day ago. Many want to take full advantage of the respite, others call it folly. Keeping a full watch now means forcing fatigue and wounded survivors to take turns. Some haven't slept in days. Forget the watch exhaustion is a bigger threat. The strong protect the weak, let volunteers take watch. Force everyone to take their fair turn. Exhaustion's the bigger. Yeah, we're kind of in a fuck it mode here. A few who protest loudest begin yawning through their arguments. They soon give up. Vigilance falls to the wayside, but the warp do not come, for now. They say it was luck. If it means everyone has a chance to recover, the risk was worth it. Nice. So now we head to the basement. A woman comes to you quietly in confidence. Saw a bunch of... The fools, she confines, drunk as boiled owls, laughing it up down there. Some of the men have snuck downstairs to take advantage of the dwindling need. Join us, Hunter. They chortle when you go look for yourself. Can't take it with you. Maybe they have a point. On the other hand, these supplies could have been stretched out for days. You spy Trigvi amongst them, and slap a cup from his hand and rattles to the floor. As you watch, it continues to bounce, as if on its own, until the whole room rumbles and shakes. Flagstone bursts around your feet, and the warped claw their way from underneath. Terror drags the sluggards to their feet. This must be what the warped have been up to this whole time. Fan slurs a man, pulling down a barrel onto the warped and knocking it back below. Fan them all! Save the supplies and wait for help to arrive. Use the barrels to help repel the warped. Yes. Following their lead, you kick a barrel into the nearest warped. It plummets back into the pit it dug. Drive them back, you shout. All around the climb. More will drag themselves up into the basement, and an eternity later, backup comes clomping down the stairs. What took so long, you shout? It's not just here, Aleo replies. They're coming from all over the plateau! Amongst the warp dredge rise the twisted wreckage of what must be asunder. Just its presence makes your skin crawl and your intestines scream. Flee! But where? Send them back into the dirt, you shout, in spite of yourself. Okay, we're gonna go without the upgrade for him. Let's see what happens. What is that? A sunder? Are you gonna help us or are you just gonna get killed one shotted? A warp sunder! Fight or we're all doomed! Based on the order, Luden's here. I think we. F I'm gonna focus left because we got more guys. Our Sunder can do the bulk of the work otherwise. So we got. Uh, like that. 
So we have Boom. Luden goes. He goes. They should be next to one another. Like so. And hopefully he doesn't get in the way. Whoop. No, you go there. And he's right where he needs to be. Somebody's got to step on that square. Oh, he's coming straight for us. Oh, he needs to be able to get in. So Luden will come here. Actually, that's fine. Go get him, Luden. If their giant body blocks us, then that will be just fine by me. Reinforcements have arrived. Beautiful. Crit. Um, I'll go here. Luden steps in the corner. I think that's where we go with this. I mean, we're focusing him good. Although he, he's got to step around. Ooh. He, this, 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 this is his time to shine. <laughs> Use the insult. We don't want him to ever have a turn. Okay. Oh shit, that's really bad. Just gotta get over. Huck on. You gotta make things happen. Forge ahead. Forge ahead for Leo. Uh, probably now's not the time for that. But whatever. Ouchie. Oh. oh, he hit his own guy. Wow. Well, we can at least take him down. Uh, I think it goes for Leo. We're, oh, we're, we're not in good shape here. Oh, ouch. Uh, Shockwave does arm. Ay, 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 ay. Armor break. That I think it's gonna kill everyone. I don't need to do armor break on him. Kindle. Okay, that just hits both of our. Yeah. This is not working well. Oh, he's still alive. Good. Tricky. Oh, he's not. Uh, even that's not 100%. Let's try it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, response. Well, guaranteed shot. Double blind renowned. through. Ooh. Protect him. He's got more health. Let's do it. And we've got more. We don't need to protect him. We don't give a shit. But this guy is a big threat. Oh, wow. I need to run away. Bloody flail. Yeah, when you're surrounded by friends, it's pretty effective.
Oh, behind the guard. Ouch. And that centering impact is not gonna help us out. That doesn't get me much of a better position. It just exposes our flank. You need to get out of there. Oh no, Luden! That didn't work out for you, I suppose. Um... Okay, it worked. Ouch. Take it. Seven. Oh, Gunner. Let's use that attack that we have. Minus three armor. Minus one strength per tile. Wait. Wait, what? I'm confused. Time. Just have to uh, push through, I think. Whoops. Oh, he's gonna get a finisher. Nice. Put an end to the warped sunder. Use items and heroic titles of three passive abilities. Something, something. See, they're not injured. They're drunk. The basement is dark and silent once again, and the survivors hustle to seal and cover the holes. You're suddenly regretting the loss of so much meat, because you could use a drink right now. Someone is telling Zephyr that only half the menders have survived. Okay, we got a few days. further up the hill now. This time, the shifting shadows in the corners of your eyes are real. Ahead and behind, the others have noticed and are quietly pulling blades, flickering like a school of fish as you press together. There are warped everywhere ahead, clustered together to slow your progress, and more dot the horizon. We're so close, says Valgird, and you know his frustration. Charge and break, find a good spot to stand your ground, make your way around, that'll take too long. Break your way through! What are we waiting for? Push through! Or at least we'll try. But I think. Oh, everyone's not injured now. That's great. 
And we have no upgrades available. Um, minus one to move, but you have 80% chance to hit. Strength damage resist. It's kind of a weird one. It's knockback. Ugh. Get Ivan out there, maybe. If you do that, give it a shot. And what's he rocking? Divert, dodge, strength resist. Yeah, I mean, we don't have much to choose from. We can give just a general free strength if we had to. Yeah, so this looks like it could have multiple waves. Well, we'll be doing this fight in the next episode, so catch y'all then.